I recently visited Universal Studios in uh, Orlando, Florida, and I haven't been there in a while, but, you know, I, I came back, I guess, and you can just tell that it's, like, a family-friendly park, and it's, like, cool and everything. You know, it doesn't really cross your mind at all to get creeped out or anything like that. Sometimes, though, I think about, like, Universal Studios or just any theme park at all being empty at night, and just... I think that's kind of creepy sometimes, and I feel like the employees probably experience some creepy stuff there at night, but what I'm going to be talking about here has nothing to do with Universal Studios at night or anything. This has to do with a ride that I went on where the entire time I felt uneasy, just the entire ride. The ride is meant to be for children, right? It's like, it's a, it's a child ride, it's not meant to be scary. And basically, I went on it, and I, I just felt so awkward and weird going on there. Yeah, so that's what we're talking about today. So I'm going to be pulling up some stuff, because apparently other people believe this, too. Like, they've I'm not, I'm not the only one who's felt this way about it. So we're going to be checking out what these people on some of these websites have to say about it, because it bothers them, too. Some of the ride is actually broken down, which is part of the reason why it's creepy but that's not even the start of it honestly i've been back for kind of a while now um because i didn't go on vacation that recently but yeah i'm starting to forget some of the stuff that i was going to talk about dr seuss ride is the scariest ride at universal uh it doesn't look like there's any pictures on here but basically this person's just saying like every little thing that bothered them about it, it says right here the cat in the hat ride has quite the fright potential my wife took my fairly advanced three-and-a-half-year-old daughter on the ride. She was screaming her head off. Nearly two years later, she still reminds me of the scary cat in the hat ride. So, <laughs> it bothered her. Yeah, see, look. It's so surreal. Like, the way that this wall is, just everything about it. But that's not really a good picture. We spent our first theme park day in Islands of Adventure. Uh, we went to the Cat in the Hat... I assumed that it was a kid's ride and would be okay, but in the middle, it gets quite scary. It's very dark, spins quickly, and there are bright flashes. She was terrified. Well, you know, that's not really what creeps me out about it. Here, let's just look at images. I'm done reading. Yeah, there's this part, though, where he's, like, spinning right here. And I think that was, like, the first part where I started being like, wait, what? I was like, why is this kind of creeping me out? Like, it just kind of scared me. So this is what you're riding in, and it just basically rides on a track, kind of slow. I, I guess it does spin a couple times, but there's like these photographs that are just blank and kind of weird. Like, look at these patterns and the shape of everything. And I know, yeah, well, it's a Dr. Seuss book, so of course it's going to look like that. But it felt so weird in there. It, felt, it reminded me of just like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. I don't know. <laughs> Then there's this part where basically the door flies open and he comes in here. It didn't really scare me that bad when that happened, but just looking at it here kind of creeps me out. And also, I haven't seen any photos about it, but one of the worst parts about the ride were that there was these crevices and there were clothes hanging, but there was like that blue ultraviolet light or whatever, and it was shining on the clothes, so the colors looked all weird. And they were like neon. And when we passed them, I at first I thought it was a person. So it really freaked me out. And and there was like one or two spots that were like that. Where there was clothes. And they were in this crevice. Not even looking like they were a part of the ride. They were just in this little area. Like a closet. But it wasn't really a closet. I don't even know how to explain it. Oh yeah, thing one and thing two are in the ride. There's this part where they start running around. And the way they were moving was so scary to me. They were like, they're, I don't remember if their legs would move, but I remember their arms would like whip back and forth. It was so weird looking. Oops. Inside the cat in a hat ride. Maybe we'll get some if we go in here. So yeah, <laughs> look at this. Look at this right here. How can you try and tell me that this is not creepy? Not to mention, um, we went on the ride like once or twice, but... The line on the ride, oh my gosh, it was horrible. We were there for so long, 
and it took forever. And then when we finally got there, it wasn't even worth it because the ride just creeped me out. This, this right here just looks like one of those surreal photos that people post. It just looks like one of them. Oh yeah, and then there's the fish in the bowl, which is pretty creepy too. I don't really remember that even being in the ride. Like honestly, if I worked at Universal, I would not want to operate this ride at all. Oh wait, this is actually a POV ride of the actual full ride. I theme park. So just look at how dark it is. So creepy. Yeah, see, look at the way they run. That part with the TV freaks me out. Yeah, I'm not gonna show the whole ride, but I can't I can't even watch it. But yeah, basically if you wanna check it out, the full ride is on YouTube. But yeah, thanks for checking this out.